started Nova in November 2012 with 10 Year 8 digital leaders and we've now got 20 uh, digital leaders from Year 8, Year 9 and Year 10. They're fantastic students who give up a lot of extra time to support teachers in school and to go on various events promoting digital leaders and testing software and all sorts of different things. We are a collection of students highly skilled in the areas of computers and technology. Let's meet the digital leaders. Hello from the Digital Leaders of Arden. There are a total of 20 of us and we have been operating around the school for just over a year now. Uh, the Arden Digital Leaders are a group of people who um, we meet every week and we look at the software technology to be used throughout the school. The Arden Digital Leaders help teachers um, to use the new softwares around the school if they don't know how to use them. As digital leaders, our tasks vary from software reviews to helping teachers and to internet safety. What we do as digital leaders is we send out apps of the week to help teachers around the school to actually know what apps to have on the, their computers. We also um, review software uh, as well. Technology in our school is a big part of our learning. This is because we try and integrate it into all of our lessons, whether it be on the computer or on the iPads. Other things that digital leaders do are projects involving e-safety and Safer Internet Day. This is because safety on computers is incredibly important both inside and out of school. You bet we are. The digital leaders have accounts on many different educational websites. We even have our own virtual learning platform. In Digital Leaders we have a Edmodo page where we communicate with each other and talk about what we can do in, with ICT around the school. We also have recently joined a Make Maze page and we create stories and get badges. At Arden we have the VLE which allows students to log on from wherever they are to check homework, timetables. We also have the YouTube channel where we post all our e-safety videos and anti-bullying and all sorts of videos like that. We also have a Twitter that we regularly update with lots of news about what we're doing. The digital leader team has worked outside of the classroom on many occasions. So far we have visited places such as Mozilla Firefox's HQ, Think Tank and the BET Technology Exhibition in London. The digital leaders do many events outside of the classroom, such as Mozilla and BET 2015. When we went to Mozilla, we went with John Henry Newman uh, and their digital leaders, and we helped design the digital badges, or open badges, which is now on the Makeway site. Recently, we visited BET in London. It's a giant exhibition all about technology that can be used in schools. There were many different companies selling and advertising their products there. A few weeks ago we went to the BET exhibition in London. There was a technology festival all about technology that can be used in schools. At BET we went, we looked at all different stands to see um, what things could be used in Arden to improve learning and teaching. We went to the BET show, uh, the BET show in 2014 and we were on the uh, Mozilla stand with the stone making uh, making like uh, websites and posters. We were using the Mozilla Thimble software to edit the HTML code on, on websites to edit the page. We even been to Think Tank and learned all about animation. We have undertaken many projects. Most of them include other schools across the world. We're even working with one in Sri Lanka. Via Twitter I found out about the Digital Leader Network and I've connected with lots of teachers from across the, the uh, country who run Digital Leaders in their school, particularly Lady Lumley School, um, Chris Sharple's there who's given us lots of ideas and support and we're now in the position where we're, we're sharing ideas with them as well. We've had an Edmodo chat um, with some other schools from New Orchard, um, such as Lady Lumley's and um, we are planning to actually have a Skype call session with them in the future. One of the primary things we do as digital leaders is coach other members of staff on how to use certain programs and software so they can use them in their lessons. 
We've been using a website called BT Digital Champions to recognise how many hours we've been training people for. And I've designed a badge on MakeWaves that we can reward ourselves with when we do 5, 10 or 20 hours of training. One of the big roles the digital leaders play is coaching teachers. So the teachers can email us and tell us what they need help with and we'll then uh, find a digital leader who's good at that and can go and coach them. They'll then go and see them on lunchtime and help them with it so that they can use that software in lessons or something like that. The Year 8 Digital Leaders are doing a project for Safer Internet Day which is raises awareness for um, stopping cyberbullying online and we've made a few posters and desktops to promote it. Uh, part of Digital Leaders' role is to research into new and exciting more technologies that we can use at school. I have currently been uh, been researching uh, having a a school radio for uh, as it as we think we could broadcast uh, broadcast like notices over it instead of using pal uh, instead of using email. We we think that we think that we can do uh, we can do this, but it will take time to get the funding and and find a place to put up. I'd recommend that all schools have student digital leaders, and they've been really valuable to us in teacher training, teacher coaching, and um, helping students in lessons and all the extra things that they do. It's a great opportunity for students because of the leadership skills that they develop but also it's even better for schools because it adds to um, the variety and the exciting things that uh, schools can offer. Goodbye from the Digital Leaders of Arden.